Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to try out this Korean makeup technique. The method is called Jamsu. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I don't know. But um, basically, you would apply your makeup as you normally would. Foundation, concealer, moisturizer, primer. And then, once you have like all your face makeup on, you go ahead and set it with um, translucent powder or any setting powder and you dip your face in to a bowl of water which I have back here and um, you leave it in there you leave your face in the water for 30 seconds and then you're supposed to have like a flawless makeup look I guess and it's supposed to last I'm trying to read through it I found um, like a, a website well I found a link on Google where it kind of explains a little bit more of the technique. I kind of uh, didn't really know about it much. I still don't really know about it. I don't know if it's supposed to work or like if it's going to work out for me. But I've seen a, quite a few videos and I think this is the girl who actually was the first one to post about it. I don't know her name. Anyways, um, so once you're done dipping your face in for 30 seconds, you pat it dry. And it's supposed to create a soft matte look. So I believe if you have dry skin, you leave it in for less. I'm not sure how many seconds, but I mean maybe 15, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I'm going to try it out and I'm going to hope for the best. I don't know if it's going to work, um, so let's just get right into the video. To prime my face, I'm using the NYX Shine Killer. And I'm going to go ahead and... Prime. I've already um, moisturized, so I'm just going to go ahead and prime. So for this technique, I don't know if I can apply my eyebrows just yet, so I'm not. Because obviously you don't want to put your eye makeup and then like dip your face in. I think it will ruin it. I believe it's only for your foundation. So I'm not going to do my eyebrows and I'm not going to do my eyeshadow because I don't want it to get ruined. I'm just going to do foundation. Okay, so as you guys know, before I apply my foundation, I do put the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder on my face, which has helped out a lot. I don't know if you guys have tried out or even bothered to watch my foundation routine, but um, I always put this on before my foundation. I put my primer and then I put this on and then foundation, but I always put this on just to make sure that my makeup will last all throughout the day. Alright, so now that I've applied the mattifying powder, I'm going to go ahead and apply foundation. So I mixed my Milani and uh, Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation. I mix those two, t I mix them together and I always like to put it on the back of this little bronzer thing that broke off. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and then apply it on my face. And I do apply a lot of foundation, but I feel like I don't need full coverage, but I like it. Okay, so now that I've applied my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. And I actually really like this one way better than the other Maybelline one because it's full coverage as you can tell. Okay, so now I'm going to set my entire face. This is where that whole stuff kicks in. I'm going to set my whole entire face with the Airspin Translucent Powder. And it says you have to apply it with your hand. but. I'm not going to do it with my hand. So, I'm going to do it with the Beauty Blender. Not the Beauty... Well, it's a, like a Beauty Blender. It's the Real Technique sponge. But I'm just going to put that all over my face. So, I guess it's supposed to like create a flawless look. And I am so excited. I love flawless looks. And as you can see, I'm breaking out, so 
if you guys follow me on Instagram and saw my recent post where I said that my face was clearing up, well guess what? I'm breaking out again. I do try to take care of my face as best as I can so my skin can always clear out. But it's not always going to be clear. I'm going to break out, especially when it's a time of the month, so don't expect my face to look good all the time. Anyways, so I'm just going to keep adding a lot because I don't know how much you're supposed to, but I know that you're supposed to put a lot on your face. So, alright guys, this is the fun part, I guess. Hopefully I don't spill it. But, oh my god, oh my god. So, I'm, I have to dip my face in here for 30 seconds. I'm going to do 15. I'm just, I'm going to split it because I don't think I can do it for 30 seconds, okay? Ready? One, oh my god. Here, let me fix the camera so I can have this on my vanity. And then I could do it from there. Hold on. Okay, it's a little bit messy right there, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm trying to do. So, I'm going to do this for 30 seconds. So, ready? One, two, three. Oh shit, this is freezing. Okay, one, two, three. I look crazy, but I'm not trying to touch it or anything. Okay, now I have to like pat it dry, so I hope that it doesn't like remove or anything. Um, but, you guys, it looks super flawless. Hopefully I could zoom in so you guys can see how it looks. But, so far it looks amazing. I don't know if I would do this every day, because, like, that's kind of weird. No offense. I'd rather just, like, use my setting spray. But, like, this is pretty awesome, because you could like, save a lot of money. Like, if it were to work... You could save a lot of money. Okay, now I'm gonna look at my face in this. It does look flawless. I don't know if I tapped it too much with my um with my towel, so let me just fix it with the beauty blender because it looks weird. You know what? It actually does look flawless. Like it doesn't look too bad. I don't know if I like it though. I don't, it kind of looks patchy. And I don't know if that's on my end, like if I tapped it too much or like if I put too much translucent powder. Okay, so now I zoomed in a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see, but it kind it looks very, it looks good. It doesn't look bad. There's just like some spots that are very patchy, like in this area. And like up here, it didn't like, it kind of took it off. Um, either than that, it looks, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I, I mean, it looks good, I would say. And I have, like, water my nose. No, I don't really like it, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put my face powder after and, like, continue. Like, do I set my face with a setting spray, or is this supposed to be... I have so many unanswered questions about this. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be, like, like the setting spray, but I don't know. It doesn't... I don't really like it, to be honest. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. But, no, it looks very patchy, and that's what I don't like. So... And I feel like it's because I put too much translucent powder, but from all the videos I've seen... Um, they put a lot of translucent powder on their face, so, I don't know, um, I don't know how I feel about this, um, I'm gonna have to, like, it does look flawless, I don't know if you guys can see, but, like, it doesn't at the same time, because it looks patchy on my forehead, I don't know if you could tell. I don't know. I don't like it. I feel like my face looks super white. Like it, it, I don't know. I, maybe I put too much translucent powder. I don't know. I really wish I knew a little bit more. I should have done my research on it, but I've seen like maybe a few, I don't even know how many videos, but I've seen quite a few videos and they put a lot of powder on their face and they say it works and it looks good, but I 
don't know. I think I put too much translucent powder in, that's why. So, I'm gonna have to give this a three out of 10 because overall it does look flawless. It looks very, it, it feels soft and it, it looks soft. I just don't like that my face looks super white. Like I still have the translucent powder, like it didn't really like, you know, how would I describe it? Like it looks like I still have this, um, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it looks too white and it looks very patchy on my forehead. I don't know if I, it was because the way I was like, you know, trying to take off the water. Overall, I mean, it was a fun experience. I don't know if I'd do it again. So. If you haven't tried it already, go ahead and try it out and let me know if you like it and if it worked out for you because it really didn't work out for me. So I'm kind of disappointed because I was actually hoping that this would really work out, but it didn't. That's totally fine. Alright guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. I want to try more makeup packs, so I'm going to try to like Google more makeup packs and I'm going to test them out and see if they work. So don't forget to like this video and make sure to comment down below and let me know if it worked out for you and subscribe so I know that you guys want to see more videos. So I will see you guys in my next video.